Baylor's or Betelgeuse, is a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous and very unstable. It's about to explode. They are among the biggest explosions of radio energy in the entire universe, generating more energy than a billion suns. Betelgeuse, one of the most luminous stars visible in the night sky, is a striking feature of the celestial landscape. Asterisk, asterisk. What makes Betelgeuse even more remarkable is its distinctive orange color, which immediately catches the eye of those gazing upwards. Unlike many other stars that maintain a consistent brightness, Betelgeuse is classified as a variable star, meaning its brightness fluctuates over time, a trait that adds to its mystery and allure. At times, Betelgeuse can brighten to such an extent that it rivals or even outshines the brightest stars in the night sky, making it an object of fascination for both amateur stargazers and professional astronomers. Asterisk, asterisk. Over the years, there has been growing speculation among the scientific community about whether Betelgeuse could be on the verge of a cataclysmic explosion known as a supernova and the potential consequences this could have for its immediate surroundings, as well as for Earth. While the idea of a nearby star exploding might sound frightening, it's an event that astronomers are eager to observe, as it would offer invaluable insights into the life cycle of stars. Asterisk, asterisk. To delve into Betelgeuse's current status and future possibilities, we invite you to follow along. If you are fascinated by the cosmos and wish to stay informed about the latest space news, subscribing to our channel, liking the video, and turning on notifications is the best way to stay connected. Betelgeuse's sheer size is nothing short of astounding. If this star were to take the place of the sun in our solar system, its massive girth would extend far beyond the orbit of Mars, engulfing the inner planets, including Earth. Not only would it dominate the space within Mars' orbit, but its outer edges would likely reach into the asteroid belt, a vast region filled with rocky debris and smaller celestial bodies. Asterisk, asterisk. This visualization of Betelgeuse's size is both inspiring and a little intimidating, showcasing just how insignificant Earth is in the grand scale of the universe. Despite this imposing size, there's no need for alarm, as Betelgeuse resides at a comfortable distance of 642 light years away from our planet. This might seem like an enormous distance, but in astronomical terms, it places Betelgeuse relatively close to us, especially considering that it is the nearest star to the sun expected to end its life in a supernova explosion. As a result, it has become a prime subject of study for astronomers eager to witness such an event. Asterisk, asterisk. According to famed astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, the variability in a star's brightness can be attributed to several factors, such as its size, temperature, and distance from Earth. For example, stars like Riel and Aldebaran, though both bright, experience fluctuations in their luminosity. Aldebaran, at its peak, may be as bright as Riel, but during its dim phases, it may fade into relative obscurity compared to less luminous stars. This variability in stellar brightness provides important clues about the star's life cycle and its ultimate fate. Asterisk, asterisk. In recent years, Betelgeuse has undergone dramatic changes in brightness, particularly in the past five years. This fluctuation has captivated astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. The word Betelgeuse itself has a rich linguistic history, tracing its origins back to the Arabic language. Linguists and scholars have debated the exact form and meaning of the name, but the current usage is widely considered the most appropriate for describing this iconic star. Asterisk, asterisk. Betelgeuse belongs to the red supergiant category, one of the largest and most massive types of stars in the universe. It is located in the constellation Orion, which is easily recognizable in the night sky due to its distinctive arrangement of stars. At a distance of roughly 642 light years from Earth, Betelgeuse is far enough away to pose no immediate threat to our planet, but close enough to be a focal point of astronomical research. The development of advanced astronomical instruments, such as the Hipparcos Astrometric Satellite, has revolutionized our ability to measure distances to celestial objects with precision. Through this technology, scientists have determined that Betelgeuse is approximately 430 light years from Earth. Understanding these vast distances helps to put the size of our universe into perspective, reminding us just how far apart the stars and galaxies are from one another. Asterisk, asterisk. 
One of Betelgeuse's defining features is its status as a variable star. Its apparent magnitude, which is a measure of its brightness as seen from Earth, ranges between 0.0, .0 and 1.6, indicating that it undergoes significant changes in brightness. In the Bayer designation system, which is used to categorize stars within constellations, Betelgeuse is known as Alpha Orionis, indicating that it is one of the most prominent stars in the constellation Orion. At times, Betelgeuse can outshine Riel, the bright star in Orion, due to its unpredictable fluctuations in brightness. Historical records show that Johann Bayer, a 17th century astronomer, gave Betelgeuse its name in his 1603 publication, where he also named Riel as Beta Orionis. Despite its prominence, Betelgeuse stands alone, unconnected to any larger star formation or cluster. Unlike stars that form in dense regions of gas and dust where new stars are born, Betelgeuse is located in a relatively quiet part of the galaxy. Asterisk asterisk. It is also classified as a runaway star, meaning that it has been ejected from its original location and is moving through space at high velocity. With a radius that is 764 times larger than the Sun and a mass that is 16.5 times greater, Betelgeuse is truly a giant among stars. Even though it is massive, it is cooler than the Sun, with a surface temperature of 3,600 Kelvin compared to the Sun's 5,778 Kelvin. Despite being cooler, Betelgeuse's luminosity is staggering, shining with a brightness that is 126,000 times greater than that of the Sun asterisk asterisk. Even though it is located 548 light years away, Betelgeuse is considered a relatively young star, estimated to be around 10 million years old. By comparison, our Sun is a middle-aged star at approximately 4.6 billion years old. However, despite its youth, Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life as a red supergiant. It has already exhausted much of its nuclear fuel, and its final act will be to explode in a supernova. When this happens, it will release an incredible amount of energy, and the effects could be devastating for anything within a few tens of light years from the explosion. A supernova of this magnitude would produce as much light as an entire galaxy, outshining everything around it. If a star like Alpha Centauri, one of our nearest stellar neighbors, were to undergo such an event, it would be impossible to miss, even if it didn't appear as bright as the moon in our sky. The radiation emitted by the explosion would have serious consequences for Earth. Asterisk, asterisk. Fortunately, no supernova has been observed in our galaxy since 1604, although astronomers did witness a supernova in the Large Magellanic Cloud in 1987. This event occurred 169,000 light years away from Earth, but it still had a visible impact, demonstrating the far-reaching effects of these cosmic explosions. When a star undergoes a supernova, it leaves behind remnants, which are the leftover material from the explosion. One notable example is the object known as G292.0 plus 1.8, which is a remnant of a supernova that occurred long ago. These remnants are rare and often contain high concentrations of oxygen and other elements. The Large Magellanic Cloud, where the 1987 supernova occurred, is far enough from Earth to pose no danger, but it serves as a reminder of the powerful forces at work in the universe. If a supernova were to occur closer to us, within 100 light years, it could have significant consequences. Stars like Alpha Centauri, which are within this range, could pose a potential threat if they were to explode. However, Betelgeuse, while relatively close, is located beyond this danger zone, meaning that we are not in immediate danger from its eventual supernova. Asterisk, asterisk. Nevertheless, scientists are keeping a close watch on Betelgeuse, as its unpredictable nature makes it a star of great interest. The question on everyone's mind is whether Betelgeuse has already exploded. As the closest red supergiant to Earth, Betelgeuse is the star most likely to experience a supernova in the near future. In late 2019, the star underwent a significant and unexpected dimming, which caused a great deal of speculation. Some believed that this dimming was a sign that Betelgeuse was on the verge of exploding, as such behavior can sometimes precede a supernova. The dramatic decrease in brightness sparked concern among scientists and the public alike. However, despite the initial alarm, Betelgeuse has since regained much of its brightness, and it seems that the star is currently in a more stable state.
For now, it appears that Betelgeuse's final explosion is not imminent, but it remains an object of close observation for astronomers. Asterisk asterisk. Betelgeuse, with its distinctive crimson hue, is a familiar sight in the night sky, particularly during the early evening months of the year. Its position in the constellation Orion makes it easily recognizable to stargazers. Thanks to observations made by NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and other ground-based observatories, astronomers have gathered valuable data about Betelgeuse's behavior. In 2019, Betelgeuse experienced a massive surface mass ejection, during which a portion of the star's outer layers was blown away. This event caused the dimming that was observed from Earth. Surface mass ejections are similar to coronal mass ejections, CMEs, that occur on the Sun, where a portion of the Sun's outer atmosphere is ejected into space. However, the mass ejection from Betelgeuse was on a much larger scale, ejecting 400 billion times more material than a typical CME from the Sun. This massive cloud of gas temporarily blocked some of Betelgeuse's light, leading to the dramatic dimming that was visible from Earth. Asterisk, asterisk. Despite earlier predictions that placed Betelgeuse at a greater distance, more recent calculations suggest that the star could be as close as 724 light-years from Earth. Measuring the distances of red supergiant stars like Betelgeuse is a challenging task for astronomers. As these stars are often shrouded in clouds of gas and dust that obscure precise measurements, even with the uncertainty surrounding its exact distance, Betelgeuse remains one of the brightest stars in the night sky. Its immense energy output, which is about 100,000 times greater than the sun's, is accelerating the process of fuel depletion within the star, bringing it closer to its inevitable demise. As Betelgeuse continues to evolve an inch toward its final supernova, astronomers are watching closely, eager to learn more about the life cycle of stars. Asterisk Asterisk Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, has captivated the imagination of humanity for centuries. Its prominent position in the constellation Orion has made it a vital point of reference for navigators and stargazers alike. This star's name derives from the Arabic term Ibt al jauza which translates to the giant's shoulder, highlighting its historical significance in various cultures. In addition to its impressive size and brightness, Betelgeuse exhibits fascinating characteristics that make it a unique object of study. One such feature is its pulsating nature. Researchers have identified that Betelgeuse undergoes periodic changes in brightness, driven by its outer layers expanding and contracting. This behavior is often attributed to complex interactions within the star's atmosphere, influenced by convection currents and pulsational instabilities. Such pulsations can last anywhere from a few weeks to several months, further adding to the star's variability. Interestingly, Betelgeuse is not a solitary star. It may be part of a binary system. Some evidence suggests that it could have a companion star, which could influence its evolution over time. The gravitational interaction between these stars might play a role in the shedding of material from Betelgeuse's outer layers, contributing to the changes in brightness observed by astronomers. This potential companionship adds another layer of intrigue to the study of this red supergiant. The massive energy output of Betelgeuse has implications for its surrounding environment as well. The intense radiation and stellar winds generated by the star can significantly impact nearby cosmic structures, such as the Orion Nebula. This region is a stellar nursery, where new stars are born, and the influence of a nearby supergiant like Betelgeuse can trigger the formation of new stars or alter the trajectory of existing ones. Astronomers continue to investigate these interactions to understand better how massive stars shape their environments. Another captivating aspect of Betelgeuse is its stellar life cycle. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse has evolved from a main sequence star, during which it fused hydrogen into helium. Over millions of years, as the hydrogen in its core was depleted, it transitioned to fusing helium into heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. This process continues until it eventually reaches the iron stage, where fusion stops, leading to its catastrophic collapse and subsequent supernova. Understanding this evolutionary pathway helps scientists piece together the life cycle of massive stars, which ultimately enrich the interstellar medium with heavy elements upon their death. Moreover, the study of Betelgeuse also offers insights into the phenomenon of gamma-ray bursts, GRBs, some of the most energetic events in the universe. 
While Betelgeuse is not expected to produce a GRB, studying its characteristics and eventual supernova could provide clues about the conditions under which such explosive events occur. GRBs are thought to result from the collapse of massive stars and are among the brightest explosions observed, with the potential to outshine entire galaxies for brief periods. In addition to its scientific significance, Betelgeuse has permeated popular culture. It has inspired numerous references in literature, films, and music. The star's distinctive name even led to the title of the famous Tim Burton film, Betelgeuse, which showcases how celestial objects can capture the public's imagination. These cultural connections highlight the star's allure beyond the realm of science, drawing interest from a wider audience.